Welcome back, guys. Video number two. You would have just created your users. Here's my user, demo one. And now you want to create a task. So create the task by adding new task here. Pick the user, demo one. OK. Title. Please create 50 Facebook accounts. Make sure to use the phone verification service app in Browsio to get numbers for Facebook accounts. Okay. Make sure to use the phone verification service app in Browsio to get phones. Okay, great. That's actually coming, guys, very, very soon. We are currently working on it. So we're going to have um, that added in very soon, the actual phone verification. And then you add the task. And you can decide what you want it to be. Minor, ASAP, critical. Okay. And that gets added here. Please create 50 Facebook. Right. I mean, ideally, you want to keep this short because the titles here are fairly short. But, you know, you click on it and you see all of the data. And this is, again, the way that you can communicate. So you can chat. Hi, did you start yet? And how far are you? OK, so this is like a, a chat. We're actually adding in a, um, a whole new chat system where you're going to be able to have real time chat from directly within the app, which is going to be very cool. OK, so that's now created the task for him. Create 50. So if you want to set it, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can go about using it. You can just have him on the fly, just go out and create the accounts from scratch and set up the projects and give him fake name generator and tell him to go out and create the accounts and you use the uh, the phone solution that you currently have or hopefully over the next day or two we should have the api um, put into browsio so that you can all use um you could all use the, the phone pva um solution and um you know it's entirely up to you or you can create the accounts in your browsio and send them over for them to use so, you know it's real for them to for them to uh you know well this is specifically for creating facebook accounts right but it's entirely up to you again like i said if you just want them to create the accounts and then they send you the fresh accounts and folders that's exactly how you could be using it if you want to set them up with an automated tool which is what i do a lot of the time for some of my throwaway accounts is i'll use an automated tool that creates gmail accounts and then i'll you know, send them over to the VA and tell them to just, you know, go ahead and and um, sign up to other sites with it, add images and so on and so forth. So, you know, that's the task set. Now your outsourcer is going to get a pop up window over here that the task has been set. OK, now he can then ask you, do you have, you know, whatever questions backwards and forwards? And that's what this commenting system is for. OK, so. In the next video, I'm going to go through how to send projects across. I just wanted to cover tasks and how to use the tasks. Um, it's basically a task system. <coughs> nothing too complicated, nothing too crazy. It's just a task system that syncs with you and all of your outsourcers. Okay, see you in the next video, guys.